Hey everyone, today I want to talk about the brand new Bamboo Lab H2C. And yes, I'm going to be honest, I'm a little disappointed. Nine, six, nine. I know, I know, everyone's already posted their first impression video. The hype is huge, the thumbnails are glowing, but I want to give you the angle nobody seems to be touching, why this machine didn't really impress me, and why I don't think it's the leap forward people are saying it is. So, quick recap of what the H2C brings to the table. It uses Bamboo's new Vortex system, which is basically a hot end swapping mechanism. Not a full tool head changer, just a nozzle hot end assembly. You get up to 6 swappable hot ends, plus 1 fixed, for a total of 7 materials. Each hot end has a little chip in that stores filament settings, and they are heated wirelessly through induction. There are no wires, no thermistor plugs. It's slick engineering, no doubt about it. And according to Bamboo, heating a new hot end takes about 8 seconds. Sounds pretty amazing, right? Well, here's the thing. Even though hot end heats in 8 seconds, the actual full tool change process is a lot longer. You've got unplugging the filament from the AMS, docking the old hot end, grabbing the new one, filament feeding, alignment, priming, wiping, releveling checks and a bunch of little motion in between. When you add all of that up, the real world tool changer usually ends up around 45 to 50 seconds per swap. And for a machine being marketed as a revolutionary nozzle changer, that's honestly not that fast. Especially when real tool changer systems like the Snapmaker U1 Prusa Excel or even all the E3D tool changer setups can snap tools on and off in just a few seconds. This is where the hype falls flat. Now, I want to be fair, the H2C does bring some benefits. Because it swaps hot ends instead of collars inside the same nozzle, you get way less purge waste. Bamboo says up to 80% less filament wasted compared to traditional AMS collar changes. And yes, that means faster multicolor prints, around 30% time savings versus the H2D, in certain scenarios that is. That's all genuinely good. If your biggest problem with multicolor printing is wasted filament, the H2C absolutely addresses that. But, this is the core issue, the machine gets marketed like one, but it's not. It's a hot end changer, you still have a single extruder, the AMS filament feeding system, all the limitations of AMS filaments, no independent tool heads, no ability to keep different materials fully separated. Real tool changes let each tool head have its own extruder, nozzle, gear train and filament part. The H2C is more like multiple nozzles that take turns. Let's be honest. Bamboo poured a lot of engineering into reducing purge waste. Wireless induction heating, coded hot ends, a complex docking system. And all of that just to solve a single issue. Filament waste during color changes. It's cool tech, but it doesn't feel like the next evolution in 3D printing. It feels like a clever workaround, not a breakthrough. You still need the AMS for all filament handling, meaning it still struggles with flexibles. Abrasive filaments still require special care, you still have to route everything through the same system and you inherit all the AMS limitations. A real tool changer frees you from all that. And here's the kicker. You can buy a true tool changer like the Snapmaker U1 for around 7.99 USD. A system that changes entire tool heads handles materials independently, wastes almost no filament, swaps tools way faster and doesn't require this whole AMS based feeding chain. So when Bamboo markets the H2C as this huge step forward, I honestly don't see why we're supposed to be impressed. Look, I'm not saying the printer is bad, 
it's a bamboo machine. It'll be fast, reliable and user-friendly. If you want multicolor printing, less purge waste, the simplicity of staying in the bamboo ecosystem and you don't mind 40 to 50 second tool changes, then yes, the H2C is going to deliver that. But if what you've been waiting for is a real tool changer, truly independent materials, faster swaps or a significant leap in capability, then this isn't it. So that's my honest take on the H2C. A cool machine, very clever engineering, but not the revolution people are hyping it to be. It solves one problem very well, but it doesn't move the industry forward in the way a true multi-tool system would. What do you think? Am I being too harsh? Is the H2C enough for an upgrade for you? Or are you waiting for something more? Let me know in the comments. I really want to hear community's thoughts on this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!